Hi, I'm Eric from Simply Elegant Home Cooking. Today I'm going to show you my take on a classic dish. We're going to be doing a tomato, cucumber, and onion salad with some fresh herbs and a homemade vinaigrette. This is a delicious summer dish. Pairs brilliantly well with any kind of grilled chicken, steak, or fish, or really any summer fare. So stick around and I'll show you how to put this together. So when you make this dish, one of the most important things is to get the best looking produce you can find. Now you can use any type of tomato that you like. Today I am using grape tomatoes on the vine. Um, you could certainly use cherry tomatoes, Roma tomatoes, um, just whatever looks good. This is one of those dishes though where the end result is greater than the sum of its parts. So you always want to start with the highest quality ingredients you can find. And what I recommend using, um, if you're using a small tomato like a, like a grape tomato, you want to use a serrated knife and just cut them in half into bite-sized pieces like so. Okay, and once we get our tomatoes prepped, everything else we do, we want to do uh, not with a serrated knife, but with a really sharp knife. So I'm going to take a seedless cucumber. Now you can use any type of cucumber, but I really think the seedless work well. You want to cut off the ends and then you want to start by just slicing these into medium-sized discs, like so. And once you slice your cucumber, what you want to do, you want to take about three or four slices at a time, and then just cut those into quarters, like so. So I'm going to continue with the rest of these. And once you're done prepping your cucumber, it should look a little something like this. Okay, and next, I'm going to prep a red onion. Now we'll probably only need about half of this in the salad, so I'm going to start by just cutting it down the center like so. And I've reserved the other half for other recipes that I do, but what you want to do with this half, you want to cut off that end and then just trim around this bulb at the bottom. You want to just kind of cut that off. And I'm going to peel off just the outermost layer of the onion. And now we just need to slice this up really, really fine. Just want to cut it like so into thin slices. Okay, and when you're done, you want to be left with thin slices of red onion that look about like that. That actually looks perfect. Okay, so one of the things that really sets this salad off is the use of fresh herbs. Now you can use any type of fresh herbs you like. A lot of people like fresh dill in this. Personally, I don't. Parsley works well, but today I am using basil and fresh thyme. So what you want to do for your basil, you want to take, you know, maybe four or five of these leaves at a time. And what you want to do, you just want to roll them up tight like that. And we're going to do what's called chiffonade, which is essentially just a fancy chef's term for cutting the basil into thin strips, like so. So I'm going to continue with the rest of this basil. Okay, so our basil is prepped. Next we can prep the fresh thyme. So this is really easy. What you want to do first, you want to start by just removing those leaves from the stem using your fingertips. Okay, and what you want to do, once you separate those leaves from the stem, you just want to take a knife and just run it through your thyme leaves until these are just very, very finely minced up. Okay, so most of the work is out of the way. Now we just need to make the vinaigrette for our tomato, cucumber, and onion salad. I'm going to start off by juicing about half of a lemon into a bowl like so. And for this vinaigrette, you could use just lemon juice for your acid. I like to add a touch of red wine vinegar to it as well. I'm just going to add a little bit more complexity to the flavor. And now I'm going to add a very high quality extra virgin olive oil. Next ingredient is optional, but I like to use a little bit of Dijon mustard. That just really helps with the consistency of the vinaigrette. Always be sure to season your vinaigrettes very generously. I'm going to start with some sea salt. Next, some freshly cracked black pepper. And you can see I used a lot of it. The next ingredient is optional, but I personally love it. I'm going to go in with a pinch of crushed red pepper flakes for some heat. Again, only if you like it with a little bit of heat. 
And now we have all of our ingredients for the vinaigrette in a bowl. Now we just want to whisk this up. You just want to take a whisk and just kind of mix this vigorously until it emulsifies and gets a nice, smooth, thick consistency to it. So we'll check back in a minute or two. Okay, and after just about two or three minutes of whisking, you can see that came together really, really nicely. Everything's evenly incorporated in that vinaigrette. Okay, and next we're going to add our fresh thyme. We're going to hold off on the basil because that goes on last. It's very, very delicate. So we don't want to throw that in the vinaigrette just yet. Going to get our fresh thyme in though and just kind of stir that around real quick. Okay, so we have our tomatoes, cucumber, and onions in a bowl. I'm going to just start by spooning over uh, most of the vinaigrette. Usually I start with about two-thirds of it uh, just to see if we have enough flavor. We can always add more, but you cannot take it away. So I'm going to go in with most of, the, uh, most of the vinaigrette. Now at this point, I am going to add that fresh basil that we cut up. I'm going to just sprinkle that over on top. Okay, so everything is in the bowl. Now we just need to give it a very gentle mix. Just want to make sure everything's evenly distributed. Okay, so here is our dish. Tomato, cucumber, and onion salad with fresh herbs, basil and fresh thyme, and a homemade vinaigrette. Let's dig in and give this a try. Just want to be sure to get a little bit of everything on a bite. Mm. That is just so good. You know, we don't have to do much with these vegetables. This produce, you buy really, really high quality produce and it stands on its own. We've elevated it with that delicious vinaigrette. But you saw this was a really simple dish to put together using simple ingredients that everybody knows and loves. Tomato, cucumber, and onion salad. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Eric from Simply Elegant Home Cooking, and I look forward to seeing you again real soon.